Shopify blog tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can get started with creating your own blog with Shopify. Now, this can be really helpful in increasing your sales, creating backlinks, and if you want to get started with Shopify right now for free, make sure to check the link in the description box below. So, let's get into it. Now, to get started, all you have to do is create your Shopify account. Now, once you log on to your Shopify account, if you don't have a plan already, check out the link in the description box down below that will allow you to select any plan for free for your first few days. And you can choose any plan. You can really unlock the entire power of Shopify for free. So check that link out. Now, as you guys can see, we have our basic dashboard over here on Shopify. In your dashboard, you have your online store on the left side once you click on online store you will be led to the themes pages now you can change your theme you can change you know the overall appearance of your store this is totally up to you if you want to follow a certain theme depending on what kind of store you are building but having a blog section is very essential to build backlinks and to improve the overall website crawlability and health and it's super easy we're gonna break it down step by step so once you you have logged on to Shopify, you click on online store, you'll find this drop down over here and it will say blog posts. So you just want to click on your blog posts over here. And once you create, once you click on blog posts, you will see the section where you have to create your blog. Now, currently my website is password protected. I can choose to remove the password. So my website is available to the public, but I don't really need that right now. I want to complete my blog posts first before I make this a public website. So now what I'm going to do is click on create a blog post over here. And this is the blog building section of Shopify. So first off, you're going to see on the top, you have your title. Let's say I have a uh, title about best denim color and fit. Now, after that, I have the content section where I'm actually going to add the content of my blog. Now, your blog needs to be organized and it needs to have it needs to have the perfect amount of balance. So you want to make sure you're not just rambling about one thing in a very large paragraph. You don't want to make sure it, it's broken down in paragraphs rather than a very long essay or just one huge paragraph. So as you guys can see over here, you have multiple different formatting tools. Let's say we are going to get started with the uh, blog. So I want to uh, intro, you know, I'm going to write a couple of lines and I'll show you guys how to format those. So I have written down this one line. This is just, you know, a very basic opening line. Now, how can you format this? You guys will see on your top, you will have multiple different options. So you have paragraph, heading one, heading two, block code. Now, if I want to add a block code, all I have to do is I can just select this section over here, click on block code, and it could be anything. So just like that, I've added this block code. Obviously, I will add a, you know, quotation, and then I will have to add a reference as well you can do that reference in multiple different colors and styles but let's get into some more basic formatting options that we have so first off uh let's say the best denim i want to emphasize this so what i can do is that i can click on bold over here and i can make this text bold now we have the best denim color and fit now this is actually the title of my blog post as well so i want to emphasize it in a different way i will actually make this italic just because it's the title and after that you also have bullet points and indentations you can add you also can choose your alignment now let's say after the first section i want to insert something so you have insert table options image options video options as well and you can also clear pre-existing formatting so if i want to insert a image i can upload an image now i'm going to take a image by url and now I can just click on insert image. Obviously your image is going to be inserted over here. Currently it's not showing up, but I'm just reattaching this image with a different link. So now you guys can see with this, now our image has been added in our blog post. You guys will be able to see the entire image. Now, after that, maybe I want to center the rest of my text. So I want to keep on writing. This is just, you know, the start of my blog post. I will just simply take this over here and I can choose the image size. So I want this aligned to the center and I don't want any wraparound text with it. And I will just click on edit image like this. 
and now this will be placed in the center. Now you guys can click on the image over here to reduce the size a little just so it's easier to uh, work with it in the Shopify editor and you can choose how you want it to appear with the rest of your blog post. So I am going to add it like so over here now i will continue writing below the image now after my image the top section is aligned to the left but i will align the next section to be aligned to the right uh now i'm just going to keep on typing over here so it's moving my mouse below my image now you guys can see this is aligned to the center the text below our image if i want i can also choose to insert it to the center or right or left that's totally up to you on the top right you can also change the color of the text as well so let's say i want to make this blue text so i can just select this blue color over here and i can change the color like this i can also make this bold or i can make it underlined or italic you can also do all three of these things Things together if you want to emphasize certain text you can do that as well I'm just gonna make this bold now after that you have multiple different insertion options you can also insert a you know you can also insert a video so you can just click on insert video and insert it by adding the basic URL a code or code within the section so after you have copied your entire content you know you've added all the content that you want and you want to make sure you don't make this mistake that I used to to make when i was running my shopify store i had a scrunchy business and i would never uh pay attention to these two sections whenever i wrote my blogs and that is a huge mistake this can really make or break your listing it's going to have a huge impact so in your excerpt section you want to add a summary so a summary is going to appear on your home page of the blog so you know that page that you see that has all the blogs inserted in it it will have a summary of this specific blog so i want to make sure it is as uh, comprehensive, concise, yet appealing. So I've just added this little excerpt and you can also organize this and you can also format this however you want but I do recommend you keep this as simple as possible. You don't want this to be overly complicated. Now below that you have your website SEO. You want to make sure you're editing that and you have your page title. So the page title is best denim color and fit. Even though this is my title, I might want to change it for SEO reasons into something more like the best denim color and fit for me or the best denim color and fit for you because I want the readers to feel like, oh, they're going to find their best denim color and fit. Now below that, you have your basic description, which is going to be excerpted from your actual blog post. You can choose to change this as well, but I'm going to keep it as it is because I really like this one that is uh, added over here. And then you have your URL and handle. You can change the last string of words, which is your slug of your URL. You can choose to change that. But for me, I like to keep it concise and best denim color and fit is simple, concise and very easy. Now, after this, you will see on the right side, you have your visibility. So currently this is going to be hidden, but you can set it visible on, you know, your present date and time. However, you can also set a visibility date. So if you have, if you want to schedule your blog posts, you can also do that directly on Shopify as well. So below that, you have your featured image, which is going to appear in the blog section. So you can just upload that over here if you want to add one or your basic, you know, forefront thumbnail image that you want. You can add that as a featured image. Now, after that, you will have your organization where you're going to enter the author of your blog. Obviously, if it's a business, then you might want to create a few uh, business, pro you know, if, if your business is very large and you have certain employees that are going to write blogs, you might want to name them. If you want to write blogs directly as the business, you can insert the business name and then you have the type of blog. So you have, you know, news, you can click on create new blog over here and you can enter your blog title, which is going to be fashion. Now, after that, you have tags, which is very essential to add. So you want to make sure you add like six to seven tags. That is the optimum number of tags that you should add. And then you have your online store, your theme template, and I will just click on save over here. And now I have my blog saved and you guys can see, I can click on view on your online store to see what it's currently looking like. This is what my blog is looking like. Obviously we can add a lot more content to this, but it really is going to appear very simple, easy, and neat. And you can really add a 
lot more content into the Shopify blogs. Plus, the simple formatting features are going to allow you to even insert YouTube videos. You can insert video over here to make your blogs more dynamic. And that is going to help you in building backlinks to your own website. So you can add images from your own website that you can link back to the individual product because this is going to increase interest. And the best part about all of this is that you can accomplish all of this with the link in our description box. If you check that out, you can get Shopify for free. You don't have to pay. You don't have to add your credit card info and you can choose any one of Shopify's premium plans to try out. Plus, Shopify currently is offering a $1 plan for the first three months that you subscribe to Shopify. You will only have to pay $1 a month after your free trial with us has ended. So that is another great option that you can make the most use of because this really is going to be something that is going to elevate your Shopify store and really help you get your customers interested in your overall Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.